Hello everyone, Wanda the Foiling Rock Lady here today and I'm going to be working on a dragonfly which symbolizes new growth, um, a fresh start, new beginnings. Um, anyways, my, my rock here is going to say just breathe and believe. So I thought I'd stop and show you guys how I do my lettering a little bit before we get into it. Um, anyways, the supplies for today will be MacArt light 6 watt UV LED mini light um, some nail foils you can use whatever kind you want you don't even have to use nail foils you can just paint or draw and come along for the ride I'm going to be using some transparent nail foils over Chromatech I'm just going to grab a couple colors here Chromatech watercolor brush pens um, for the paint. I'm also going to probably use gold. It'll either be Treasure Gold by Folk Art in 3081E or Mayan Gold 5541. I don't have the bottle for that, but it's a little bit more of a pewtery, silvery gold. Very pretty. I think I might use that one. Um, Apple Barrel Jet Black. Posca 1MR fine lining pen. Here's some tools that I'll be using. I used this to use carbon paper to trace the uh, dragonfly onto my rock. Pencil. Liner brush. These are disposable eyeliner brushes that I use with the glue so that I don't ruin all my brushes. They come in real handy and they work for fine lining too if you don't um, have a good fine liner brush or you just can't get one that's thin enough those work pretty good SXC is the brand of nail art foil glue that I'm going to be using today and just some random holographic foils for the wings I have this style you can see that real pretty and this style a, kind of a geometric sort of uh, looking patterns for in the wings I'm going to do different pieces and the parts <laughs> bits and pieces you know me I like to put it together like a puzzle <laughs> and I may incorporate this guy it was a little bigger than I thought I want if it was a smaller fish net it might work better but it is so pretty <laughs> Maybe not on this rock, but soon. <laughs> Anyways, I will show you my inspiration. It's an it's a brooch. Isn't that beautiful? So that's where I'm getting my inspiration from. And in the brooch, there are rhinestones or diamonds or I'm not sure. Maybe both. <laughs> here, here, on the lower wings as well. This is an emerald. And I believe these are opals for the eyes. And there's uh, diamonds coming down on the back. I'm not going to be doing all that crazy, crazy stuff, but I probably will add rhinestones into the spaces where they are on the dragonfly. I love rhinestones. And since this won't be going outside, it'll be pretty safe to apply them on there. I'm just going to redraw some lines on here. So I don't lose my idea my idea not my idea <laughs> I found that picture on Pinterest too I didn't see an original artist to give credit to so if you made the brooch it's beautiful thank you for the inspiration okay so just breathe and believe is what I would like to write today so I'm going to write and here do it this way Should I go up this way or should, yeah, we'll do that. I have trouble with the V's. <laughs> I'm not a great at that hand, at hand lettering, but. U. 
especially when they connect. But B E L I E, I think that's right. Just breathe and believe. It's probably, I might move that around a little bit, maybe a little more that way. Yeah, I think I will. Yeah, you know how it goes. <laughs> have handy an eraser and I always keep a brush handy a stiff brush to sweep away the bits from erasing let's go this way there we go enough it's the message that counts right <laughs> all right darlings let's get into this I'm gonna grab some gloves and I'm gonna line everything in black so that I have a good outline going and then I will do gold after that if I decide to let me get a dish going. Sorry about the shake. I'm going to do brush and Posca most likely. I like doing brush work. Although Posca does make, oh, I'm sorry, Posca does make better time of things. Makes it takes a lot longer to do it by hand. Well, Posca is by hand, but you know what I'm saying. Dipping and going back and dipping again and but Okay, one done. Start the second wing. <laughs> and wings. Don't worry if they're not identical. Um, they're sisters, not twins, you know. Sort of like women in their eyebrows. I used to be a makeup artist and it was so hard to, you know, get the ladies to understand that your eyebrows will never be identical. Never. Just like your feet and your arms and your legs are all different as well. You know, you may have a freckle on one side, not on the other side, or you might, your right leg might be a half inch longer than your left leg. Dragonfly wings, pretty much insects are the same way. Nothing's ever 100% identical. Each one has their own fingerprint, you know. So don't be too picky about making them perfect. Because while Mother Nature is gorgeous and wonderful and perfect in her own way, it's not, we're not a cookie cutters. So, just enjoy and remember to breathe while you're doing your art. Otherwise, it's not really therapeutic, is it? Deep breaths. Breathe and believe. What can we use this for? Believe that 2021 is going to be a better year. Believe that our economy is going to bounce back. Yay. Believe that we can be happy. All right, body parts.
Go ahead and line your dragonfly. Okay, my little body is done. Add some legs. some antennae in the eyeballs <laughs> okay So, how do we want to do this? I think I'm going to do the body gold, y'all, like it is, and leave a, yes, I like it. I'm going to use the Mayan gold and do some lining work, too. I'm going to do the whole body gold. And then I'm going to line this section. I'm not sure yet. I may do it green like the emerald that's in it on my inspiration photo on the brooch. Here, I'm going to do this. Take a still, pause your video. That way you can see what I'm looking at. I'm not sure how to link a brooch to the <laughs> video in the comments but if I figure it out I will put it in there I promise and I want to apologize if you hear some loud screaming in the background I've got has been watching football today. <laughs> football Sunday. And in case you're wondering about this brooch, I wish it's a fine liner and I think it's the name has rubbed off of it. I can't remember what the brand is. Um, I'm sorry, but it's a 20 over zero and it just says fine liner. You probably can't even see that. It's a script, so sorry. And I have cut a lot of the bristles, hair, the hairs out, probably at least 80 to 90% of them have been removed so that it'll be super fine.
Okay, when you're done doing your body work, um, I'm going to line my wings as well with the gold. I'm going to go right around the inside part here. And it may mean that I need to touch up some of the black liner that I did, but I really want to give it that ornate look. Okay, so go ahead and line, I'll show you here. Um, it's kind of hard to pick which side to go on on the inside, huh? Just, you know, pick a side and stay there, stick to it. So if you go on the, the inside or the outside, but stick with it okay so that would be one wing done okay okay I got the gold done I'm just gonna touch up a few places where I went too far just a bit see. I think my air conditioner <laughs> actually just came on. Yes, I said that air conditioner. Wow. South Texas. Can't make up its mind whether it's cold or not. And there's no middle of the road. Whoops. <laughs> it's okay. I didn't want it that thick, but it will work. Remember, sisters, not twins. Nothing wrong with twins. Just, this is not an identical thing.
La, la, la. Okay, stop. <laughs> you gotta stop. Oh, one more. Sorry. One more thing. Okay, so I'm gonna pick some watercolor brushes. And I think I'm gonna stick with the colors in the inspirational photo. So I need I might not use all of these colors, but I'm just grabbing some that are catching my eye. Probably plenty. And I need a plain brush. It's a watercolor water brush. You put your water in here. Yeah. Sorry, I got a sponge there. Anyways, you put some water in here. And then you can you can put water, watercolor anything really you want to inside there. I'm going to leave it empty and just dip it in the wa the clean water and use it for a blender. Okay? So it's my tool. Okay, so I'm going to start. Let me make sure this is the color I want here. Pretty close. I'm going to start right in here with a little blue. And there's a little of it out here. And this is, that one was Egyptian blue. This is heron. Heron blue. I'm going to blend with it. And it's just barely any color. Okay, and then I need some green in there. I'm going to add some here. See, these have the jewels in it, so hmm, I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. And then there's just bits of purples and pinks just kind of speckled in there. Just bits. I love it already. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Oh. I 
I think I'm just going to paint this. Just because if I decide not to put the rhinestones in there. Very pretty. Okay, it's definitely nothing perfect, but, and this is a lot lighter out here, but that's, it's fine. Just examples. Okay. So, I'm just going to continue my way around my wings. Kind of add my colors where I want them and then blend. This one has more magenta-ish. Egyptian blue. Okay, then I'm going to take the sky blue and blend that. Oops, that's the wrong color, but what I meant to use was the heron blue, which is totally okay. Just blend that down. I'm going to put some more pinky purples back in there. Maybe add a little here. Voila. Use the water pen. You don't want any like marker looking coloring spots like you, you don't want it to look like you used a pen, right? I think it's beautiful. I am going to do this part right here with green. I believe it's bottle green, bottle green. There is an emerald green, but I like bottle green. And then I'm going to pull some out and just let the pen suck up the color and then wipe it on a towel. And if you don't have rhinestones, you can always paint your sections like grindstones, you know. Okay. Let's do our writing. The tip on the Posca was too smushed, so. J.
But I do know when you're hand lettering, the down stroke should be thicker than the up. I am not very good at this. <laughs> There's breathe. Hmm. <laughs> okay, well, fooey, that's okay. It's almost like a heart. Okay, that's enough of my hand lettering for one day. <laughs> I've had enough of that. Let's do some foiling, people. Yes, yes, that's my fun part. Okay, so I'm going to put right here, actually, I'm going to color the eyes black. I have changed my mind. Let that dry, and I'm going to cover that emeraldy looking thing with some foil just in case I don't cover it. Just a dot. I'll let that cure. Okay, I have a new pack of foil here and it is a booger. <laughs> where did I put my scissors? Did you guys see where I put my scissors? Oh, they fell down. Okay. So I just need a little bitty bit. And I'm going to make a pile <laughs> over there because foil is so full of static. So when you need to roll it up, just roll it up okay so right in the center there and then you've got an emerald pretty oh i'm loving it already come on 
people now. Smile on your brother, everybody get together. Try to love one another right now. Yes, I sing too. I'm here all week. Okay, glue in the well. And your disposable liner brush. There will be a test on this at the end. And I will ask you, what song did I sing during my tutorial? If you can't answer it, I know you didn't watch the whole tutorial. I'm just playing. You know what? Let's do the eyes first. And you can use the little flashlight for these spot curing on things like this. It's perfect for that. It's a 12 volt UV LED. This is by Tech Teotronics. Anyways, it's about 10 to 15 seconds and it's ready for foil. This and the 15 or the I'm sorry, the 6 watt MAC art light are the only ones I recommend for actual foil application. Um, to cure Mr. Resin or hard resins uh, to seal your rock, I 84 watts. Good place to start. Okay. Oh, what should we do for the eyes? I don't know. Um, smaller. not small enough all right I guess we'll try this guy you know what hold that thought okay I have another set of foil you guys have seen this a lot I love this set gorgeous anyways in between these flowers is like honeycomb mesh looking can you see that in there anyways I'm gonna use this little bit right in here for those eyes so I'm just gonna cut off a little tiny piece I'm almost out of my beautiful foil. I need to start holding a sign. We'll work for foil. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> okay. And I'm just going to stick it on there. And now we have some dragonfly eyes. How cool is that? Wow. It just comes to life right before your eyes when you're working with foil. It's magic. I don't know. <laughs> There's nothing better than watching the foil come to life. All right, so now I'm just going to start doing the wings. Yeah, I'm going to start out here. And I'm going to do the sections without going onto the liner. So try not to put your glue on your gold or your black liner. Sort of like a stained glass look. Okay, so I'll start one, and I'm going to do different uh, different textures of holograph hol holographic foil in the wings. All right, I've changed my mind. I'm going to use one foil on the wings of the holographic and then do a different type on top of the gold. I know you guys just love that when I change half <laughs> change my mind midway, huh? Yeah, I'm a Virgo indecisive.
Okay, let that cure. Okay, I'm back. I cut this because the direction of the pattern on here kept flipping in in the pattern it kept flipping and I didn't like that so see how it goes two directions so I cut it and I'll turn it and line it up if I need a bigger piece which I probably will I hope it's the right side okay it's hard to tell on this foil <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to put that that way, and then I need to follow the direction. You put this one here. Wrong side of the foil. I'll be right side. Okay. There we go. Pretty, pretty. All right, so I'm going to do that on all four wings. Okay, for the second one, I'm going to use a different pattern. Beautiful. It looks like opals. So pretty. Okay, so I'm going to do the top wing with this guy. Actually, I'm going to do the bottom wing first. Yes. Beauty. Okay. And the top wing now. I'm trying to see which direction I went. Okay, I went this way. I think I might have it on the wrong side. I do. Okay, so when this happens, you got to be really fast, really, really fast, and that way you don't pull off your paint luckily we have watercolor here if that would have been um acrylic other than matte even matte probably would have peeled off just now but watercolor kind of soaks into the santorini Whew, got lucky this particular foil is a nightmare trying to figure out which side because they both both sides look just the same But I know I have a trick and I should be doing my own, taking my own advice. And it's not a trick. It's, you know, common sense. I usually take a marker and write this side so I can read. If I can read it, then it's the right side facing up. I'm liking it. But what I'm not liking is my hand lettering here. Oh, that's really bothering me. Let me see. And now that I'm going to mess with it, it'll probably just make it worse. Hmm. Yeah, better not. Don't do it. Don't do it. Walk away. <laughs> okay, so down the center on the gold. I'm just going to add some glue. Where did my... Oh my God, there it is. <laughs> I'm just going to do glue and some, I call it laser foil, which is this guy right here, all the way down. Give it a velvet look. Okay, I cured all of the gold dollops of glue. I love that word, dollop. <laughs> Anyways, my staticky foil here, I call it laser. I'm just going to lay that down. Okay. 
and then use the other side. Not the other side, but the other side. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, don't turn it over. Just use the parts that haven't been used. Let's see? Other side, not the bottom. Not underneath. Lord. <laughs> okay, I think I'm done. Now, what I want to do is erase my pencil marks. Make sure that's not showing. Make sure to brush off your workspace because I'm going to use some Mr. Resin and rhinestones. Yes, I am going to pause you while I go get the rhinestones so we can pick out some pretties. Okay, rather than have you guys go with me on that crazy journey. I got the rhinestones out and I kind of pulled out an example of a rhinestone jeweled dragonfly look. I'm probably not going to put all of these in there, but you could. I'm thinking about um, just taking the big guys out. These guys. Leaving that one and that one. And then moving these crystals to the centers of. And then they'll go smaller. <laughs> okay, tool. Not funny. Anyways, it goes there. One more. What's going on with my tool? Like that. See, I think that's good. And we can see our foil and our um, rhinestones. Okay, so how I set my rhinestones is I apply a thin coat of resin. Now, right now, it being cold out, I use uh, Mr. Resin to cure um, during the cold months because I have a hard time getting regular two-part resin to cure during the winter months. Sorry about that. I'm distracted. Okay, stop. So, um, what we're going to do is do a thin coat of Mr. Resin. So, I'm going to move the rhinestones off. They're all picked out, sorted. Okay, make sure you have your large or your higher watt light ready to go. I have an 84 watt Mr. Beetles, a light that I use to cure the resin. And then have something to lift your rock up off of the surface so that the edges of it will also cure. Uh, make sure you sign your work. <laughs> I have been forgetting to do that lately. So... I will do that right now. Okay. Sign the work and then give it 
minute. And what to put under there? I had all right, here's an empty foil box, like so. Okay. Add your resin. Don't shake it. Don't let it go too fast because then you get bubbles. And you can use a brush or a silicone spatula tool. Um, I don't have any of them in the house right now, but I just prefer my gloved hand. Way I can feel what's going on. Anyways, you don't want to do the front and back at the same time, so just go down the sides a bit. And when you do the bottom later, you can go up the sides again and make sure you got all of it, all of the sides. Now, I'm going to cure that for uh, six, 30 seconds. <laughs> I gotta change my gloves. I'm gonna pull this over the top of it. Give it just a few seconds. Okay, while it's still tacky, so you only want to cure it for a few seconds so that the rhinestones don't slide around. Sorry for that big crash. Then you want to apply your stones. where you want them. You gotta put this other glove on. <laughs> okay. Apply your stones where you would like them. Trying to get it straight. <laughs> Sorry. Actually, I might turn it around. Hmm. If you need some glue and the resin's not sticky enough, you can use top coat, UV top coat. I'm just going to add a little bit right here. A little dollop. There's that word again. There. Make sure your stones are straight where you want them because once you cure it, they live there. They do make a gemstone glue. I just don't have it. It's pretty much a top coat. It's a UV glue, which is a resin. 
Okay. So that, and the reason you don't want to resin on top of your stones is because you'll lose your facets and they won't be very pretty. They'll be there and they'll still sparkle some, but you won't have any facets. They won't shimmer when you move it. They won't do the sparkle. Okay, then cure that for four cycles, 120 seconds. And because my rock is bigger than my uh, UV light, I need to prop up the sides of it. So I'm just going to grab some more empty boxes here. Turn my rock like this. Prop it up like so. And start the timer. Okay, it's finished. Resin and glossy. I'm not in my kitchen, so I don't have the magic light, but beautiful nonetheless. I'll see if I can show you just before I turn it off. Okay, here it is. We're all finished. It looks like opals. Opals and rhinestones. So just breathe and believe. Thank you. If you enjoyed this tutorial, hit subscribe and like. And if you want to be notified when I'm uploading new content, hit the bell. I'll see you again real soon.